Landowners have welcomed the proposed Ramo Hydro 2 power plant to be constructed on their land. It's a collective effort from the Yapi clans in the Makam district and the Kapore in the Obura Waninara district in the Eastern Islands province. The power plant will use water channeled through an 8-kilometer tunnel from the Yonki Dam. The tunnel will be cut through these mountain ridges, producing 150 megawatts of electricity. The people now got access agreement or land owners is signing. And by people are in the private surveyor, he go inside and survey the ground below people. Now people are buying already this time, and they need long company below people here, all in title. So title there, and by giving people leverage. In the agreement yesterday, the landowners will partly own the facility and will supply labor during and after construction. Government Mipla by needing government is helping Mipla and guarantee Mipla through PNC power along power purchase agreement. Alright, or by talking PPL and Ramu power Ramu too by producing power. PPL, you stop now you ready long buying power. As in other towns and cities, customary land is a big problem. In the face of development, the growing demand for land has posed new challenges. The Yapi and Kapore landowners are cautious of how their land will be used. We have our land. We want to use our land as an equity to come into the project. There may be other owners, we don't know. Somebody else might come in with the money, but we want to come in with the land. And if we can raise the money, we want to come in that way. The clans are wary of bad experiences faced by other groups in the country. In a few years' time, business is poised to expand, changing this place that once used to be hunting and fishing grounds. But the landowners said they will be part of the business rather than spectators on their own land. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Lay.